this week I've got Captain Marvel and I'm going to do things a little bit differently than I usually do. I'm going to give my rating of the film first. And if you disagree with that or you are going into this with a closed mind, you are free to tune out now. But I'm going to give Captain Marvel a five out of five. Now, is it a perfect film? Absolutely not. No film is perfect. And any other film I've given a five out of five is not because they're perfect. It's because I enjoyed them as much as I think I could. So I really enjoyed Captain Marvel. I had very high expectations. I was very stressed out about it because much like Wonder Woman, there's a lot riding on this. This is Marvel's first foray into having a superheroine as the main character. I was apprehensive. I don't know a ton about Captain Marvel. I don't know if a ton of people know a bunch about Captain Marvel. So for me, it was really refreshing to go in and actually get to learn who the character is because we've been saturated with these origin stories and I think Captain Marvel did a really good job of changing up the structure in a way that made it interesting and I was like oh yes I would like to know why and how these things are happening as would the character. Brie Larson is fantastic in this but I think one of the real scene stealers is Lashana Lynch who plays her friend Maria Rambeau. It also stars Samuel L. Jackson, Ben Mendelsohn, Jaimin Hansu, and Lee Pace who you'll note are also in Guardians of the Galaxy. You need a little tie into the Marvel Universe there. Also this film is set in 1995 which explains why we've met these characters in this different context. Uh, Gemma Chan, Annette Bening, Clark Gregg, Jude Law. A very strong cast but really this is the Brie Larson show as it should be. Samuel L. Jackson is certainly in a lot. They did this weird de-aging thing uh, um, for Sam Jackson and Clark Gregg, and it really creeped me out on Clark Gregg as Phil Coulson, for those who do not know. But again, this is one of those movies where, you know, it is an origin story, but I really un think you have to have seen a lot of the rest of the Marvel Universe, which usually I'll ding things on. But again, I think you could actually just watch this movie and still get a ton out of it. I love that Captain Marvel is a strong female figure, and I don't care how cheesy some of the moments got, they just made me feel empowered and strong, and I also love that she does not have a romance in this. Her strongest relationship is her friendship with her friend, and I think it's really important to show everybody the strength of women supporting women, right? It's something we talk about in the film industry, it's something we talk about in many other industries, or any industry really with women. It's like, hey, you have to support each other, and I think this movie does such a good job of embodying that. I also appreciate that, look, she's not overly sexualized, which is something they tend to do with characters like Black Widow or Scarlet Witch. Not to say that she's not attractive. Of course, Brie Larson, incredibly attractive, very strong and fit in this. There are some great moments in the film that play into what modern women certainly have to deal with. And if you've seen Brie Larson is very active uh, on this particular topic. So it was refreshing to see all of this represented in the movie. And, and look, even, even a character like Wonder Woman, right? Wonder Woman was a great film. I also loved it. But I was like, oh, well, there's Steve Trevor. I guess there, there's a guy involved. Not that she needs him to be there, but it, there was a romance plot line. I feel like they didn't feel like they could sell Wonder Woman without having a romance there. And I love that for Captain Marvel, they did not need to have that. So again, I, I'm going to reiterate, by no means was it perfect, but it was such an enjoyable watch. And if you grew up as a child of the 90s, and possibly particularly as a girl, you were going to be hit with such powerful nostalgia. In fact, there were points in this movie where I was like, are young people going to know what they're referencing? Like there are so many just little moments where I was like, oh, this is so exactly what we grew up with. Will a young person know what dial-up is? question or a payphone for that matter there's also some weird existential humor in the vein of guardians of the galaxy and thor ragnarok that i absolutely love those are some of my favorite moments in the marvel cinematic universe and so i like that they tried with it there look the first half is a way more uneven than the second half i'm not sure what they're doing um ben mendelson plays a character who comes into contact with uh, captain marvel and i don't know if they knew exactly what they were doing with that dynamic but they eventually found their footing and it just became weird and fun and funny there's a lot you're gonna have to parse in terms of uh, aliens <laughs> for lack of a better word you know they're just jumping right into it. I certainly felt like I need to brush up on my Kree and scroll history. I don't think this actually goes how it goes in the comics, but there was a lot going on. And ultimately, though, this is about her and her story. And I think this movie does such a great job of capturing what it means to be a woman in the modern world. There are just so many micro moments in it where I was like, yes, I felt that way. Yes, I get that you're a superhero and I'm just a human being and also that superheroes don't exist. But, you know, that's a separate issue. And I, I just felt like, yes, this is a character who has to deal with this. This is everyone has to deal with this. It makes it feel universal. It made me at least feel less alone being like, yeah, no, this is something that probably a character of even that magnitude or strength or whatever would still have to deal with. That sucks but it makes me feel less alone. There was a little boy sitting near me and at one point I like heard him like shouting and like excited and like, yeah, I was like, yes, this movie is not for girls. It's not for boys. It's just for everyone. And I hope that like young people grow up with her as a role model, right? And I hope it opens the door for even more stories like this. Like I want this to be successful because I want, much like Wonder Woman, I want to see more stories like this and I want to have options. I don't think at the end of the day that like Captain Marvel would be who would represent me as a superhero. And I don't think Wonder Woman would be who would represent me as a superhero. But in order to get to the ones that I do think are 
are more specific and more niche, we got to have the success of these kind of bigger, broader characters. And so I think Captain Marvel does a good job of being like, hey, here's a superhero that look, it might not be exactly you, but there are things you can relate to. And I thought that was great. And again, this is certainly a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like I said, we've got some characters from Guardians that we've seen before. It ties in. You definitely want to see this before Avengers Endgame. I had a really good time. I'm not going to apologize for it. I really like the film. I'm entitled to like the film and you are entitled not to like the film. But I think one question you should ask yourself is why don't you like the film, right? Are you just rejecting it because it has a female protagonist? I do hope you like it though, because I do think at the end of the day, it is a, not the strongest, but it is a strong entry in into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's enjoyable, it goes by quickly, like it's not, it doesn't slog, like there are plenty of Marvel movies that slog. Doctor Strange, the Iron Man sequels, Thor 2, which we don't even talk about. I think if you compare this to any of the other origin stories in this phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, because the first few we weren't expecting, right? With Iron Man and Thor, I don't think we expected this sort of template, this sort of, there, there was no formula for what made a Marvel movie. And now there are expectations, right? You need to see certain things. You're gonna get your cameo. You're gonna get your you know character from another movie that maybe shows up. You're gonna get your end credit scene. You're also gonna get your story beats. There, there's not a huge reinvention of story beats in these movies, but I do think Captain Marvel is one of the few ones that tries to at least take the things that we've come to expect and present them to us in a different way structurally. Forget the fact that she's a woman, just structurally, it was more interesting to me than the other ones we've seen. And then you've got this charming, charismatic lead character. You've got humor. You've got good action. Like, what what more do you want from a Marvel movie, I think is my question. And in retrospect, going back and looking at some of the other ones where, yeah, I'm really excited when I see them in theaters and then I never, ever want to watch them again, I'm already excited to see Captain Marvel again. So again, five out of five.